All right, hello again. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to set up a project with Oxygen. Um, in this one, I'll be showing you how to set it up and get a window up. So the first thing we gotta do is open up a project. Go ahead and open this up. Come on. Okay. So this is our project. So now what we need to do is initialize oxygen. I'm going to cheat here because right now uh, you don't need to know all the ins of oxygen. We just, all we want to do is just get a window up. So let's just go ahead and just go to one of the examples inside of the framework, go to its source and this file right here where it says entry point, you're going to copy this file over to your project. Paste that in there. Now, we need to add it into our project. So you're going to right click on source files, add an existing item. You're going to go back into your source file and you're going to open this, uh, actually you're going to add it into your project. There it is. Click on it and this is what comes up. This is all the initialization of oxygen, getting everything ready for a window to pop up. We're not going to go into this right now. All we're going to do is uh, create a, a file to do all these update, the pre-initialization, the initialization, and the destroy. Let's go ahead and create that file now. Let's go up to the header. Let's go ahead and add a new item. Header, make sure that you're pointing at your source folder. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and call it main. Add that. Now in here, you're going to create a few functions. You're going to create a main underscore update void main underscore pre init void main underscore init and the destroy go ahead and destroy there now once you have this go into the entry point Add in your file. Just replace the example folder uh, file with yours. It's called main. And just simply change all these to your function names. Save it. Now, let's go ahead and create a, a CPP of uh, our main folder. Let's go ahead and add a new item, CPP file, still pointing to the source, main CPP, add that. Go ahead and include our main file. Now, go ahead and create the bodies of your uh, functions. Pre init. Oops. And the 
destroy save that now this should be good enough to get started in a window so when we press F5 let it build for a little bit look at that we got an error we got an error because we did not add a few files that we need for the project. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So in your project, where the source is, you're gonna go ahead and add a new folder called data. In this data folder, we need three files, which we're gonna grab from the Oxygen Framework. Uh, you can go into the. I think Libs have it. Does it? No, no. Never mind. Just go into the examples. Any other projects. Go into the data folder. Of any of the example projects. And these three folders, the Zlib, SDL2, and the Thread, uh, DDLs. You're gonna need these three folders. So go ahead and copy these into your game, into your data folder. Go ahead and paste it. Leave it there. Now let's try it. And there you go. You got yourself a window to start creating your games. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a sprite, so stay tuned for that one.